hello guys so this is the Alexa 2d on speed time and distance so you we have already covered 2a 2b 2c with different numerical problems associated to what our speed time and this time and about the concept you just refer to lexar 2.a where i have described and illustrated the concepts behind speed time and distance okay so today also i have both two problems and two different problem of course related to speed time and distance and they are frequently appearing in different type of competitive examinations okay and at the last of this and means at the end of the video i'm going to ask one numeric means one i'm going to give you one numerical problem that will be related to this time and distance you need to solve it and you need to post the answer in comments okay so let's start the first question is that the ratio between the speed of two train is 7 is to 8 if the second train run 400 kilometer in four hours then what is the speed of the first train so as always you know what is my procedure you need i have to picturize the problem so the first questions uh, say the speed of the first train speed of the first train is what s1 kilometer per hour okay kilometer per hour because the units are given in kilometer per hour and the speed of the second train is say s2 kilometer per hour so what is given in the question s1 by s2 is how much 7 by 8 this fact is given isn't it so i can say that s1 is equal to 7x s2 is equal to 8x for some constant x x is constant of course x greater than zero okay <clears throat> this is the speed of the second train now second train speed is uh, second train runs 400 kilometer in four hours so distance traveled by the second train given distance traveled by the second train is 400 kilometer and the time taken is t to 4 hours so we know speed is what distance divided by time isn't it and from here i have s2 is equal to 8x so 8x is equal to d2 is how much 400 and t2 is 4 so 1 4 4 cancel out so we have 8x is equal to how much 100 and x is equal to 100 by 8 is it clear so 8x is equal to uh, 400 uh, 100 by 8 now what exactly we want the speed of the first train isn't it so speed of the first train is what 7x therefore speed of the first train is 7 into x so 7 into what is that 100 divided by 8 and that will be 700 by 8 and the answer will be okay i'm not going into the simplification part as it is very easy so answer will be somewhat 87.5 87.5 kilometer per hour clear so again i am repeating how i have the solved this problem speed of the first time is given and uh, speed of the first train and the speed of the second in their ratio is given actually so this s1 by s2 is equal to 7 by 8 now from that as you know the concept of ratio if you have no idea about the ratio then don't worry very soon you will get a particular lecture on the ratio concept okay so they are in the ratio means i can say that s1 is equal to 7x and s2 is equal to 8x for some x constant okay that is greater than zero x is greater than zero now from there we have this s2 is equal to 8x and the uh, information given that the second train covers 
what 400 kilometer in four hours so distance given time given so distance divided by time is what speed so speed is equal to 8x we have got the second train speed is 8x so 8x is equal to 400 divided by 4 that is 100 so x is equal to 100 by 8 now with this x from this s1 is equal to 7x what we can uh, find out we can find out the speed of the first thing that is 7 into x 7 into 100 by 8 that is 700 by 8 and that is after simplification 87.5 i hope this is clear to you now now coming to the second problem so you can take a screenshot of this okay so now i'm rubbing it <coughs> Now, <clears throat> a car traveling, second question, a car traveling with 5 by 7 of its actual speed covers 42 kilometer in 1 hour 40 minutes and 48 seconds. Then what is the actual speed of the car? So guys, here the main thing you have to focus is what? the unit the unit s because the time is given given time is what one hour 40 minute and 48 second but we want all this minute and second okay hour itself hour in hour so first of all what we will do we will cover we will consider this part and we will convert it into minute let me picturize this we will convert this into minute and this minute and this minute we will add them and we will convert whole of them in hour and ultimately we will add this to what this one hour so as a whole we will get the time in hour okay so that is a little bit complex let's see how to do that i'll show you the way to of solving it the simplification you can easily perform the calculation part okay so first of all 48 minute one hour it's okay 40 minutes it's okay we'll come to this part later but 48 seconds is how much 48 by 16 minute isn't it because 60 minutes 60 seconds is one minute isn't it so one second is one by 60 minutes so 48 seconds is 48 divided by 60 minutes now what happened one hour 40 minutes that means 40 plus 48 divided by 60 minutes you can perform this simplification because you know uh 6 8 62 8 48 and then 10 then we have how much two fours and two five so one hour 40 plus how much we have five four by five minute let write it for one hour 40 how much 200 plus 4 minute then 1 hour 204 by 5 minutes but do remember that this is now in minute i have to convert it into what hour so again i have to divide it by 60 okay 1 hour 204 divided by 5 divided by 60 that will be now hour so I am taking this part also of the board also because as you know this is a big problem of course 1 plus how much we have 204 divided by 5 into 60 that as a whole hour so this part is how much we have uh, you can perform a simple Simplification 102 that is 30. One more times 15. So below we have how much 75. And this way 75 plus how much 
51. Isn't it? Okay. So, 6, 75. And when you perform this calculation, at last you will have, uh, say, uh, this hour. Okay. Later, we will simplify it. So, as a whole, we have converted this time into this the main part of this question actually this conversion because many people got confused it that how to convert it into hour because you know when we have hour as our main unit then we need to convert minute and second to it okay that's why this is the prolonged calculation otherwise the question is very simple the next part of the question is what a car traveling which is a 5 by 7 of its actual speed so if say uh yeah i'm writing okay is it visible i think it is visible so say the actual speed is x so but it is using 5 by 7 of its actual feet Man, means 5 by 7 of actual feet is 5 by 7 of x now 5 by 7 of actual speed covers 42 kilometers so distance again given as 42 kilometer so we have distance we have time then the other part is very simple that is 5 by 7 of x is equal to 42 divided by this part 126 into 75 i'm again revising because you know speed is equal to distance divided by time so <coughs> sorry so again i have to wrap I think I can wrap this if you have already noted it. So better take a screenshot of this. Okay, so I'm rubbing it again. Now, okay, five, I'm getting it. Five by seven X is equal to 42 into this 75. It will come here. So 42 into 75 divided by below we have how much 126. So 5, 5, how much? 25. Okay. X is equal to 42 into 15 into 7. This 7 come here divided by 126 kilometer far hour then do the calculation part that will be very simple and after all you will have the answer as what 35 kilometer per hour clear because you know three times it will be cancelling out three five so five into seven 35 kilometer per hour so this is the actual speed that the question is asking Okay, so I'm uh, again revising the concept behind this problem. So the main part, as I have said, the of the equation is that it is given in the time in different units. That is hour, minute, and second. And we have converted all of them into hour first. Okay, the simple thing that is second is given, then we need to divide it by 60 into 60. Means 1 by 60 into 60 to convert it into hour and if it is minutes given then we will divide it by 60 to convert it to the hour ultimately we will add all of them to find out the total time okay that we have found it as 126 by 75 then the actual speed is says uh, we are supposing x so actually it is taking it is co uh, considering only the 5 by 7 of the actual speed that is 5 by 7 into x and the distance given is 42 kilometer so 5 by 7 x is equal to distance covered divided by time that is 42 divided by this one so after simplification or calculation we will find x is equal to 35 kilometer per hour as it is actual speed clear guys so i hope these two numerical problems now you have got it how we have solved it now i'm giving going to give you one numerical problem so that you will solve and you will comment the answer okay During this journey in kilometer. Okay, so this is the question for today. 
take a screenshot of it um, reading the question Rahul completes a journey in 20 hours okay he travels the first half, half of his journey at the rate of 30 km per hour so first half of the journey is completed at 30 per kilometer per hour and second half at 400 meter per second now you got the trick point okay so what is the total distance that rahul covered during this journey in kilometer well so solve this and comment the answer i'll go through it okay so that's the homework for you guys so guys we'll meet in the next lecture till then stay tuned take care bye bye